Uh, Trevor. Hello, Richard. I thought you were a customer there for a moment. <laughs> uh, Trevor, you've met my daughter, Betty. Call me Elizabeth. I thought you preferred Betty. Betty's fine. Nice to meet you, Betty. Right then, my office. Sounds good to me. Will you mind looking after reception? Dad, we were having dinner. That's all right. It won't take very long. Oh, well. It's not good news, I'm afraid. What? I estimate about 14 days. Trevor. The business is in a terrible amount of debt. Trevor. I just can't see any other outcome besides... Trevor. Surely you've made some sort of mistake. I've run the numbers several times. I refuse to believe we're in this much trouble. Well, you must have known. Otherwise, why on earth would you have hired me? Trevor, this business is all that I have. Well, you do have a daughter. All that I have besides her. The business just isn't sustainable right now. You've got too many outgoing payments and no business coming in. Trevor, that's not my fault. You can't make business in this line of work. I have no control over people dropping dead. I'm sorry, Richard, but you should have seen this coming a mile off. This business has been dying for years. <laughs> Pretty much since the day you took it over. <laughs> I'm not surprised at all. I'll tell you what. I'm surprised it lasted this long. <laughs> well, if it isn't little Dickie Bilton. Officer Somerset. York, it's, it's lovely to... Actually, it's detective now. Oh, sorry. Detectives. Detective. Your kid didn't quite make the cut. Oh. Look, Dicky. I'm, uh, sorry to hear about the funeral home. What? What are you talking about? Come on, Dicky. News travels fast in a small village like this. Everyone knows the home's in trouble. I... Perhaps it's time to pursue another business venture. But what would I do? Right, we've got to get a move on. Good luck, Dicky. Was he looking suspicious to you? He's always been a weird one, York. But I don't think we need to worry about Little Dicky turning into a criminal mastermind now, do we? No! <laughs> <laughs> this idea could save us. I kill a couple of people, we arrange our funerals, we get our business back on track. I can't. I don't believe this. This business, your business has been dying for years and now you're just going to... I can't. I can't do this. You do whatever you think you need to do, but I will not have a part in any of it. I guess I've got a lot of work to do.
can't put my finger on it. This village is so tame normally. I mean, what changed? We must be missing something. There's no link between the victims. They're all relatively unassuming, not tied up in any dodgy dealings. Who gains from having these people dead? You know that Richard Bilton? He was really suspicious when we spoke to him. Come off it, Yorkie. Dickie Bilton is not a killer. Well, you said it yourself, Somerset. Who benefits from death more than a funeral director? Come on now. He kills them. And then he rakes in loads of dosh organising funerals. I just can't see it. It's got to be worth a look. Please, the super will not let us chase this up. It's ridiculous. Well, we do it off the books. Like it's our only option, isn't it? So roses, great, yeah. And how much? Oh, I'm sorry, that's not good enough. Well, maybe we can meet in the middle somewhere. Dad? Dad, I'm leaving. Yeah, but, but that's not really in the middle though, is it? Dad, I'm leaving now. I can't stay here anymore. What do you mean? I just can't be... <laughs> Not you, madam. It's this. I can't be around you anymore. You're obsessed. I don't understand. With this business. I uh, can't... Sorry. Can I just put you on hold for a moment? Thanks. There is more to life than this business, Dad. I can't sit by and watch you murder people. I can't sit by and watch you put all this energy into this business when you don't even have the energy to have a conversation with me over dinner. I know you don't realise this, but you're also a dad, not just a businessman. I could really use a dad. But you can't be one, so I'm leaving. Where are you going? To stay with Jen. Jen lives in London? Yeah. Hello? Sorry about that. And pick up time. Now. Yeah, I'll be right over. Killer. So that's your problem, Somerset. Too much pride. You're too stuck in your ways. Little dicky building, it's ridiculous. Look, just get in there, find what you can, and get out quick. You're not coming in too? No, I'm going to wait around the corner. If you need anything, get a message to me.
Betty, isn't it? Elizabeth. Elizabeth. I don't know how to say this, but uh, I think your father's done something very, very bad. He knew what you did. You know, regardless of everything that you've done, and whether or not you've been there for me, you're still my dad. I didn't want to see you go to jail. I guess we'll both be going to jail now. No. I'm not going to let that happen. Go upstairs. Wash that off and wait there. I think Somerset's partner's nearby somewhere. What about you? I'm going to shut up shop for good. It's not what's important to me now. It's been a hell of a run. Everybody's moving on And I just sit here in this room alone Hoping that someone will come along And save me from this wrecking ball I'm on Holding on to memories of the past Hoping that old friendships will last It's not a crime to want to be in company But I'm afraid that nobody's got time for me It's been a long day Staring at the walls It's been a long day Living all alone I don't know why I can't pick up the phone And call a life in from six months ago I'm 